rude, but not racist. That's the word coming from the Fort Worth, Texas police chief after one of his men is caught on tape arresting a mother who called 911 for help. Take a look now at this three-way altercation with the officer. Jacqueline Craig says she initially called police because she says her neighbor grabbed and choked her son. The neighbor's reason? He says the seven-year-old boy littered. All right, look at what happened next. Okay, as a result, the officer wound up arresting the mom and her two daughters, but did not arrest the neighbor. So he has since been placed, the officer has been placed on restricted duty uh, as outrage surrounding this video, it continues to grow. Now the mother did speak to CNN saying she felt powerless. Um, the way I was treated, I felt like was unfair. He made me feel less than a mother, not being able to protect my kids at the time they needed protected. So, I mean, it was just unfair, totally. All right, I want to talk about this more with criminal defense attorney Yodit Tewelda. Thanks so much for joining us to talk about this, Yodit. So, you look, you. At, you look at the officer's actions. Uh, they're under investigation right now, but what will become of Craig's initial complaint? Can her neighbor still be arrested and charged? Because he was left standing there. Absolutely. Uh, this, this video is so incredibly hard to watch. Um, you know, Tarrant County is about an hour away from me. Um, but yes, it's so ironic that this officer was called by the mother about an alleged assault. This officer appears on scene, interviews the neighbor. The neighbor actually confirms that he, yes, he did grab the seven-year-old's neck. When he goes and talks to the mother, he turns it from what, what started as an alleged assault to now questioning her, her parenting skills, asking her why she doesn't teach her child not to litter. And the mother was dead on when she said, look, it doesn't matter whether he littered or not. My child should not be touched by anyone. And then he asks, well, why not? That is so insulting. He was so offensive. The, the lines were clearly drawn. You knew exactly whose side this officer was on and then ends up arresting the mother and two daughters without any probable cause at all. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely absurd. Okay, so the police chief at this point is asserting that his the actions by this officer, he asserts, yes, they were rude, uh, but he this uh, police chief says these, these actions were not ro racially motivated. What do you think? Is, is there anything based on what you know now that suggests otherwise? And how can it be proven? Keeping in mind, keeping in mind that the video that we're seeing is only a portion of the video, and we're yet to see if there was any kind of body cam video as well. That's exactly, that's exactly it. They're doing an internal investigation right now, and uh, from the video, you do notice that the officer does have a body cam, so that is still to be revealed. There could be some important information on the body cam, such as the conversation that the officer had with the neighbor that can actually go in and tell um, the, the public whether this officer was being biased in the first place. And I don't know if it's a police chief's uh, position to say whether this was racist or not. I mean, we see the video just the same as he does, and we have our opinions. But all you can do is judge by the, by the officer's conduct. And what you see is the officer tackling a mother, um, uh, tackling a daughter, pointing a, uh, a gun, a, a taser gun, at the other daughter. This is absolutely insane. And, and then charging them with resisting arrest when an arrest should have never been done in the first place. And then to, to charge one of the daughters with interference of a public duty. Well, what duty was he actually carrying out? There was no interference. The daughter was actually trying to help the police officer by trying, trying to calm the mother. This entire thing is so disturbing. This officer does not deserve to put on a, mm -hmm. a police uniform or a badge ever again. All right. It's certainly a lot of outrage. And as this investigation continues, we will continue to follow the story. Yodit Tewalde, thanks so much uh, for your analysis. Thank you.